Hey guys, it's Roscoe, and on the Space Couch today, I thought I'd share with you some of the more interesting uh, channels and websites that I watch to uh, get my science and space knowledge. Um, so, the first of these is a channel on YouTube called TMRO Tomorrow. It's formerly called Space Vidcast. It's a weekly show, and they have very good topics of discussion, such as should we go to the moon first or Mars first? Should we um, have people exploring the solar system or robots, all that sort of thing. Um, and they have weekly interviews with people in the space industry. Um, they also have a guy called Space Mike from the Epic Future Space Channel, and formerly of Moon and Back Media, um, to present uh, industry and space news on that channel, particularly news about SpaceX. And the reason for that is the hosts of the show, Benjamin and Carrie Ann Higginbotham, they actually work for SpaceX, so obviously they can't really talk about SpaceX in case they give something away. Um, he also does space pods for the channel, does uh, Space Mike. Uh, there was a very interesting one recently on uh, the Ukrainian missile industry and how the war with Russia has caused them a lot of problems. Uh, the undeclared war with Russia, I should say. He also did an excellent four-part interview with uh, Robert Bigelow um, a few years ago um, for moonandbackmedia.com. The next uh, channel and website um, you should really check out is Fraser Kane and Universe Today. Um, lots of great news on there, updated um, all through the day on the website www.universetoday.com. Um, there's stuff up there about Ceres at the moment, uh, testing of the SLS launch, uh, the space launch system, the mega rocket, uh, testing some of the engines on that. Um, also, he these are Google Hangouts, uh, an astronomy cast on Mondays. And that's where he'll interview someone, um, him and his other guests will uh, discuss a bunch of that week's space news. It's quite interesting. On um, Sundays, he hosts virtual star parties, they're called, another Google Hangout. And that's uh, live stargazing, I would say, is the closest to that, if you're into that. And um, twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays, he does explainer videos, which are always quite interesting. His presentational style is, uh, is quite good. Um, the questions he asks in this are things like, um, could there be another planet behind the sun? Uh, how much water would it take to put out the sun? Can light orbit a black hole? And are astronauts really weightless? Well, just in case you were wondering, no, there isn't a planet behind the sun. We'd have detected it by now, either by one of our satellites or spacecraft that have gone out to, say, Venus and Mercury, or probably by detecting the tug of its gravity on the sun. As for how much water would it take to put out the sun? Well, remember, the sun isn't actually on fire. It's a constant bunch of nuclear explosions. What is the sun made of? It's mostly made of hydrogen, helium, then you've got, say, oxygen, carbon, and various other um, gases and all sorts of elements. What's water made of? Hydrogen and oxygen. So if you added that to the sun, you wouldn't put it out. You'd only make it bigger. So, sun's size worth of water added to the sun would not put it out, it'd make it worse. <laughs> and yes, light can orbit a black hole, just as everything can orbit it. And uh, no, astronauts are not really weightless. They're constantly falling towards the Earth, but because of the curve of the Earth and their height and the speed that they're moving, they keep missing it so they're falling around the Earth all the time. Forgetting to hit the ground, as Douglas Adams would say. Also, I would strongly recommend you check out the Every Elon Musk Video channel. It's very interesting. Plus the Elon Musk topic page also. You'll find interviews, Q&As, uh, launch events like, say, when he um, unveiled the Dragon V2 space capsule, or the Tesla Model S when that first came out, and the Tesla Model X. No doubt the Model 3 in due course. Also, where he's given lectures at, say, the Royal Aeronautical Society, or attended symposiums, various panel discussions, that sort of thing. Also, check out the SpaceX and Tesla pages and website. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, channel, rather. And again, you'll find, say, the various SpaceX rocket launches, um, testing of the various Tesla cars, and also documentaries about the SpaceX and Tesla factories, which are actually quite interesting. Who doesn't like seeing a rocket factory or a car factory? 
Another channel on YouTube you should check out is Star Talk Radio with Neil deGrasse Tyson. You know him from Cosmos, uh, he's the director of the Hayden Planetarium in New York, protege obviously of Carl Sagan, and also the best friend of Bill Nye the Science Guy. So on Star Talk Radio, uh, it's like a radio phone in show, and he gets asked various. Um, Odd questions about, say, space and physics, it's quite interesting. The sort of um, questions that Fraser Kane talks about, so different presentational style and um, much shorter, they're usually only about two or three minutes each, those videos. Fraser's are usually a minute or two longer, although that does include his Patreon uh, pleading. Um, but yeah, they're worth watching, they're quite funny. And Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's very engaging um, when he's delivering science, and I do quite enjoy those shows. Um, you should also check out the channel for the European Southern Observatory, ESO, especially their ESO casts with Dr. J, a.k.a. Dr. Joe Liska. They always say that. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm pretending to be really cool. I'm Dr. J, but this is my full name. <laughs> they do um, very interesting... Um, programs say about the construction of their giant telescopes they do these really cool um, fly-ins into a star field going further and further in and then a galaxy will be revealed or uh, a protoplanetary disk uh, with moons forming or planets forming through it that sort of thing really cool um, quite restful as well to watch something like that you know um, especially those star fly-ins they're really good obviously you should check out NASA's website and channels. In fact, it's got multiple channels. Every single NASA site has got its own channel. JPL, Ames, Kennedy, Houston, uh, wherever it is they're building the SLS. It's um, Huntsville, I think. They've all got their own channels, and pick and choose which one you like. However, and you get loads of information on there, but it's um, pretty dry quite often. It's not particularly an exciting format or always an accessible one. In which case, you should check out nasawatch.com. Um, that kind of tells you what's really going on at NASA and is a much fresher perspective. Such as, for instance, uh, the International Space Station is currently due to come to a final, final, final end in 2028, and we'll see if they can squeeze a few more years out of it. After which point, there is no plan for America to have a space station. So what are they going to do? The Russians are going to take their part of the ISS and build another station. America hasn't even started thinking about it. You don't really see that on the NASA website, do you? <laughs> yeah, that's a good site. Um, lots of industry insiders uh, and I think NASA people contribute to that forum. It's definitely worth checking out. Now, that's enough of the um, space science side. Um, there's now... Um, some tech reviewers I think you should check out and there's only one person can ever be at the top of a list of tech reviewers and that is Marquez Brownlee mkbhd.com for his website or uh, YouTube. He is without doubt the best tech reviewer on the planet right now. He's got a very good delivery, he knows what he's talking about. If he tells you something about a piece of tech you can take it to the bank, definitely. Um, he's just been uploading some videos from the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona that he was attending and there were others from the CES event in Las Vegas um, from January and many other things as well. Definitely check out his videos. Um, phones, computers, laptops, tablets, smart, uh, you know, watches, smartware, audio, all that sort of stuff is on there. The other tech reviewers I would recommend um, are a guy called Austin Evans. Um, Another guy um, called Jonathan Morrison, his channel though is called TLD Today, it stands for Tech Fest Lunch and Dinner. Um, the Unbox Therapy channel with, with Lou Hiltzenberger, I think it's pronounced, that's a very good channel also. And I also like uh, Your Average Consumer channel as well, which is Judd Na'ara. Um, all those guys and uh, Marquez Brownlee, they have all collaborated with each other and they all know each other. There's a very uh, funny video on, I think it's the Unbox Therapy channel called B&B Nightmare, where they were all at CES 2015 in January in Las Vegas. And they decided they were all going to get a house together, um, rather than just be spread all over the city, making it difficult to do their collaborations. Turns out this house is essentially was um, some porn studio. There were beds in every room, um, lighting um, in every room, a 
pole dancing station in the kitchen. <laughs> Brilliant, hilarious. You should definitely check it out. Um, other than that, the only other one I would say you could have a glance at would be the Mars Society. Obviously, they are in favour of the exploration and settlement of Mars. Um, particularly because it's good for seeing Robert Zubrin, the president of the Mars Society, having a rant. He does love to rant about Mars. He is an old school engineer from way back. He's been on this Mars thing for a long, long time. He came up with colleagues... Uh, a plan called Mars Direct that apparently will be very fast, efficient, cheap as these things go, um, mission to Mars. Um, you would take as little with you as possible in the expectation you could use the resources of Mars when you get there, so the water ice, the methane, uh, the soil to grow plants, all that sort of thing. Um, it's never happened, obviously. And I did note recently, uh, when I was watching, I think it was last year's Mars Society, by which I don't mean 2014, I mean 2013, uh, where Elon Musk got the uh, award, whatever they call their award, for, um, what is it, um, advancing the cause of Mars, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, Robert Zubrin, he's very passionate, and he's one of those guys, you know, uh, he'd be a nightmare to work with. <laughs> Anyway, guys, those are the uh, channels and websites I think you should check out if you're interested in uh, getting some in-depth knowledge on some of the topics uh, I've talked about in my previous videos. Um, very interesting, all of them, and I hope you do check it out. Um, that's it for me. The football's about to start, so I'll have to wrap this up. As always, guys, and please feel free to subscribe to my channel, like the video, or leave a comment or a suggestion.